Last year was an extremely prosperous year for China's auto industry. Many Chinese car companies have successfully entered the international market, which has attracted the attention and vigilance of the world. BYD, which stood out last year, was called a Chinese electric car giant by foreign media. They even believe that although BYD has not fully expressed its global ambitions in public, actively expanding the market on a global scale has become BYD's current strategic focus. When foreign media car companies start to make conspiracy theory about the ambitions of a certain car company, it means that its growth and development cannot be underestimated. So, what achievements did BYD achieve that made them so nervous? Will BYD become the next US sanctions target? In addition, in the extremely fierce market competition, what is the uniqueness of BYD's success? Okay, that and more is exactly what we are going to talk about today. Let's get started. As the car company with the highest sales of new energy vehicles in the world in 2022, BYD's total sales last year were 1.86 million vehicles ahead of Tesla's total sales of 1.3 million vehicles. In July 2022, BYD announced to enter the Netherlands. In August, BYD announced to enter Germany and Switzerland. In October, BYD's three electric models Tang, Han and Yuan Plus, the local model is named BYD Atto 3, were launched at the Paris Motor Show, starting multi-country delivery in Europe. In addition to already entering some European markets, BYD spent the last year figuring out how to build a distribution network for its latest electric models in the United States. However, compared with Europe, it seems that the United States is not very open and has the highest vigilance against BYD. Therefore, in the foreseeable future, it is still unlikely that BYD will make big progress in the United States. A person familiar with the matter said, BYD takes a more cautious attitude towards the United States. BYD's US project was made somewhat challenging by the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022 signed by the Biden administration. The act imposes regulations on the sourcing of battery materials and disqualifies electric vehicles built outside of North America for a $7,500 purchase rebate. This bill curbs the overseas development of China's electric vehicle supply chain, and BYD will naturally not develop in the United States with the disadvantage of starting at $7,500. Moreover, BYD is not the only Chinese company whose ambitions in the auto industry have been curbed by the United States. Recently, the battery giant CATL has also slowed down its plans to invest in battery factories in the United States and Mexico. A few years ago, American company HAH Motors Holdings tried to import cherry cars and proposed a plan to build a factory in the United States. However, HAH was unable to raise enough funds to follow suit due to concerns over US tariffs and trade tensions so the two companies terminated their partnership in 2021. But it is not without any connection between BYD and the United States. In fact, BYD has been producing electric buses in the United States and supplied them to cities such as Los Angeles and Long Beach through a factory it built in Lancaster, California, a decade ago. Later, BYD took the lead in China and, starting with Norway in 2021, expanded into other markets including Australia, UK, Brazil, Costa Rica, Germany, Japan, Mexico, and Singapore. With electric vehicles becoming the vehicle of choice, BYD is banking on lower costs to eventually overtake Japan's Toyota, the world's largest automaker. In the medium term, BYD plans to achieve annual global sales of more than 3 million cars and light trucks. Global consultancy LMC Automotive believes that while it is likely that most of BYD's sales will be in China, the idea of selling more than 3 million vehicles by 2030 is not far-fetched. Zhong Wei, BYD's 10th largest shareholder, believes that BYD's prospects should get better and better. By 2025, 
BYD can achieve the goal of 3 million vehicles. By the early 2030s, BYD should be able to sell at least 10 million vehicles per year. BYD's advantage is that it can meet most of its battery and electric vehicle system needs. BYD can purchase some key battery materials from mines and manufacture its own batteries and semiconductors, including power management chips that are key components of electric vehicles, forming an industry closed loop. Except for the windshield and the tires, they can manufacture almost everything in the car themselves. BYD has its own construction company to help build the factory, which can increase the speed. I would like to say that at this point, BYD already has an advantage over Tesla in the era of electric vehicles. BYD's product development costs are 20% to 30% lower than those of Japanese automakers, according to two Toyota officials at the company's Joint Research and Development Center in Shinchun. The high vertical integration of its battery supply chain gives it a clear cost advantage over similar automakers, which is the driving force behind its rapid expansion globally, said LMC analyst Ol Bedwell. At the same time, BYD once again demonstrated the spirit of independence and self-reliance in expanding overseas markets. At the end of last year, BYD's affiliated company will order as many as 8 ROO ships that can carry 7,700 vehicles. At present, six ships are basically confirmed to be built, and the other two ships are option orders. The total cost of shipbuilding orders is close to 5 billion yuan. To everyone's surprise, BYD's investment in shipbuilding was almost four times that of last year's deduction of non-net profits. The heavy investment in shipbuilding not only comes from BYD's confidence in overseas markets, but also demonstrates BYD's confidence in its ability to go to sea in the future. In fact, at present, BYD is still in the stage of losing money abroad, and the rapid overseas expansion of automobiles may not necessarily bring about profit growth in the short term. In fact, many Chinese car companies are still in the state of exploring the market when they go overseas market compared with the more mature model in China. The proportion of management expenses and sales expenses in foreign countries were higher. Therefore, the possibility of their overseas business losses is also extremely high. According to BYD's semi-annual report this year, the gross profit margin of overseas business is only as low as 2.59%. During the same period, the company's sales, management, and R&D expenses accounted for 9.17% of revenue. Therefore, in my opinion, BYD shipbuilding is also a long-term solution to reduce its own cost of going to sea and earn the cost of going to sea by its peers. In short, BYD's growth path is not as miraculous as described by foreign media, but it took a lot of time and energy to get in front of them and attract their attention. Although it has not directly surpassed the US electric giant Tesla in the battery electric vehicle, the growth rate is astonishing, especially the ability of vertical integration is its unique advantage and an important thrust for overseas expansion. Although foreign markets are full of unknowns and restrictions, BYD's global strategy has clearly just begun. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas with other people. Do you want to learn about more auto stories? Please keep following our channel and like our videos. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.